If you ever go to a beach in the UK, this is exactly what you do. That's what you do? Yeah. What, and then sitting on the sand? <laughs> what if your bottles are wet? You're, gonna go you, you're not going to go into the sea. Oh, you don't go into the sea. So today we're here to do a Christmas box swap of our native classic stocking fillers to see the similarities and see the differences. And I imagine there'll be a bunch of both. So what's your Christmas like in Australia? Very, very warm, usually. I'd say an average of probably 25 plus degrees, probably 35 degrees in some areas. So it's a lot of singlets, shorts. Beach, eat lots of seafood, prawns, oysters. Barbecues. Barbecue on Christmas? Yeah. That's insane. It's fantastic. It's really, really good. It's like the complete opposite to here. Total opposite to here, like yeah. Every year we dream of a white Christmas. Maybe snows for one day and then turns to slush and it's yeah. just like cold. Everyone just wants to be in their house by the fire, being cosy. I don't mind being cozy by the fire, that part sounds alright, the rest of it sounds really annoying. Can only apologise for the fact that uh, my box is smaller than yours. Small but mighty though. Uh, it's, you know, very English of you, very scroogey, <laughs> very Dickinson. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Australia. Merry Christmas from England. Merry Christmas, thank you. Thank you, wow. Alright. Okay. This is exciting. I'm going to start with this. <laughs> <laughs> SPF 50. A bit over the top. That's, but <laughs> that's high. <laughs> On Christmas. Yeah, that's I expensive. Would, I would prefer barbecue tongs. <laughs> it's sunny here for all of a good four days in the summer, maybe. Here we go. This is the fluffiest, biggest socks I think I've ever seen. But they're slipper socks. Slipper socks. Ah, they, oh, they, have, they have sticky stuff like, here. They have like grippies. Yeah, so you put them on in the house. If you don't want to commit to an entire slipper, Let's say you don't want to put on this like thing with a sole. It's just like I'm gonna pop on my slipper socks. I'm gonna walk around. So would you be happy if you got them? I would be happy if I got these. Yeah, definitely. Handmade Christmas pudding. Never seen Christmas pudding look like this before. It's nice. It's vegan, inclusive. Ooh. It's it's weighty for the size that it is. Just dense. It's compact. Mm. So I think I would like this. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to eat Christmas pudding in like 30 degree heat though. You have it with custard. Custard. Yeah, oh. fantastic. And this is nothing to do with it being Australian, but I don't like Christmas pudding, so you can keep that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Next one for me. <laughs> pajamas. All right. Can't wear pajamas. I don't wear pajamas that often, but I think this could bring me back to it. Kind of like Peter Rabbit vibes. Very cute. <laughs> Would you wear them? Uh, you know what? Probably, yeah. Why oh, not? Okay, good. Can you imagine sitting I'd be happy with these. Fire. Sit in these, put the socks on as well. Do you tuck it into the socks or over the socks? Whatever you feel. What a, oh, mm. it's individual preference. Yeah. Okay. They're quite soft. Yeah, they look nice. Ooh, yeah. That's your premium cotton, that. Yeah, that's fancy. This is like a British staple. I would say that in my family, we all get our Christmas pajamas the night before Christmas and we open them and then change into them. Oh. So then Christmas morning, we're all, all snuggly in our pajamas. Wow, that's like a real proper yeah. tradition. Oh my goodness. What have I got? An inflatable beach ball. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's become like very popular. You probably pop it on Christmas Day. It's a one-day wonder. It's okay. gonna get kicked around everywhere on the beach. You'll be at the beach and you'll just see this kind of like lonesome donut wandering <laughs> off out to sea. Like I've actually watched lifesavers go out on their boats to rescue an inflatable something. This is so far away from Christmas. <laughs> like I would never associate anything. Yeah. A a beach ball. Yeah. B a watermelon beach ball. It's crazy. <laughs> this blows my mind, really. Wait, what is this? Oh, is this like a thing for your bath? That's a bath bomb. A bath bomb, but it's a snowball. Yeah. Is that is that a thing? Um, yeah. Why not? Great. I've probably had one bath in the last five years, I think. No. And I've bought people bath bombs for Christmas. I guess you guys do like baths a lot, hey? Yeah. yeah. Do you not like the idea of a bath? No, it's just sort of like lying in your dirty, sweaty, leftover body. I see sweat. that. Yeah. I guess you guys are wanting to like not indulge in heat. You're wanting to kind of like do what you need to do. Yeah, hey, jump on. in the shower, jump out. Got and you've got to be quick because it's always in drought, so you know. Oh yeah, true, I didn't <laughs> think of that. Christmas pudding. All right, this is a single serving one. I'd be pretty happy with this, I love pudding. I must say that we definitely give you more bang for your buck. It's very true, this I is, think. This is flimsy mm -hmm. at best. I would definitely say that yours is like a lot more rustic in design, yeah. which I quite like. This is a drink holder. I've never seen one of these in my life. Right, I have a mate who lives in Perth and she literally has this exact thing. What is a drink? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you can like float in the pool. So what? It's like a a donut thing, but for your drink. Because you you're having a beer or a drink on Christmas day in the pool or any you know summer day in the pool. Wow. It's just so different. Floating hold, it's so different, yeah. I love this. I mean, I could literally just use it in the bath. 
Yeah, you could have it in the bath with with this. With a little could, bath you fizzer, bath I could. And your little drink holder, yeah. and you could and you could like put a really hot light on you. You could pretend that you're at the beach. Oh god, that'd be nice. <laughs> so this is a Christmas stocking full of chocolate. It's interesting that they're British chocolates. Do you see these as British chocolates, or do you think they're like? I just say it's chocolate. I don't mm. get too nationalistic about oh, yeah. my my chocolate. <laughs> when I always get one of these from my grandmother. Um, that's one of her, her, that and undies. Christmas day in summer, obviously it's quite hot, so that's, you can, you can sort of feel it sort of mm. all soft and melty on the day as well, usually. Yeah, these ones at the bottom look like they're kind of like merging into one. Apparently in Australian chocolate, Cadbury, they put something in it to try and stop it from melting so quickly, and that's why the chocolate tastes differently in England to Australia. Is that true? I don't know. I've apparently. never heard that before. Well, I'll have to see if they taste any different, because that is interesting to me. Yeah, this is a good present. Good. I've never seen it in a stocking shape, yeah. because our presents are normally, normally come in an actual stocking. <laughs> All right, what's next? A mug. Mm. So is this something that you often get? I give and get mugs a lot. I think really? Mugs are, I think mugs are a great present. Oh, there's hot chocolate mix in it. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it also um, has a fun phrase on it. I, I made, made this, this mice. my... Over the go. years, you like build up a collection of Christmas-themed yeah. mugs. Oh, okay, that'd be nice. Yeah. No, I'd like that. That's cool. Just keep adding to the collection. Mm -hmm. It's like the thing when something goes wrong, people are like let's put the copper on, like you know, let's, let's put the pottle on, get get a get a copper out. Yeah, exactly. And deal deal with our emotions with tea. All right. Oh, of course. I mean, where would you be without a nice pair of gloves? You know what? I could have done with them this morning. It like how cold is it here at the minute? It's, like that actually. It's pretty. It's pretty cold. Yeah. Yeah. It's a festive color. Very right? comfortable. Wow. I've never had gloves this comfy. Wow. Yeah, we know nice. what we're doing when it comes to gloves. For only for an affordable price. Very good. I don't feel Christmassy at all. That's, it's funny that being cold doesn't make you feel Christmassy. It's kind of the only thing that gets me through it. It's like, oh, it's freezing, but you know, it's Christmassy. It's if I'm not covered in a thin layer of sweat, then it's not Christmas. Wow. Yeah. So, this is a beach towel. Yeah. This is massive. This is huge. You definitely get these going up. You get one like every year. Do you really? Yeah, oh yeah. Is that a thing? Someone gives you a beach towel without like an aunt or a weird uncle. So you just have loads. Do you have like a, like a cupboard in your house that's just full of beach oh, towels? Oh yeah, we like have a, my parents have a cupboard that is just like beach towels all the way up. I suppose this is the equivalent of the pyjamas, I yes. guess. So you don't do that with them at all. Though, no? Because it's going to be covered in sand and not going to feel very nice. Oh, see this, if you ever go to a beach in the UK, this is exactly what you do. That's what you do? Yeah. Well, and then sitting on the sand. What if your bottle are wet? You're, gonna go you're not going to go into the sea. Oh, you don't go in. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've got a whole thing here. can drink my drink in the bath, and then I can dry myself off with my beach towel, and then put on some SPF, because I like to keep talking. I mean, it, it, maybe it moisturizes a little bit. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> see? Mature cheddar. I love cheese. Awesome. I get cheese for Christmas all the time. You get cheese for Christmas every year? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. We normally give mangoes, but I mean, cheese is good as well. Is cheese a big part of Australian Christmas? Um, you'd have it at Christmas, but I don't think it's a big part. Is this a big deal? Yeah, like over here, there's so many cheese wheels. So you'll have like your cheddar, your okay. brie, cheese board, cheese plate. What age does your cheese appreciation begin? I don't know. <laughs> 15, 16? I don't know, when okay. you just want to pig out. I think you have some more than me, so maybe you should do it. Should we do one. another one? Yeah. I want to try, ah, oh, Baileys. Boom! Yeah. Have you had Baileys before? Yeah, this is my Nana's favorite drink. Nice. Every Every Christmas she gets a Baileys. Can't go wrong with a bit of alcohol, especially Baileys. Do you have Baileys in Australia? We do, I've had Baileys, and we do have it around Christmas time, actually. Yeah, yeah this might be a cross crossover mm. tradition. I got my mug, hey. my hot chocolate, got my Baileys, I mean, I guess I could have a bar, seeing as that's what you do. <laughs> and then eat some pudding while I'm in the bar. That would be really indulgent, and it would be exactly <laughs> the right thing to do, I think. I yeah. love it. Chocolate coins! Oh, Cute. yeah. Classic. With the Queen's face on, because that's a thing, right? You have the well, Queen on it. Well, our coins have the Queen on it because we're still part of the Commonwealth. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry about that. It's um, got a kangaroo on it. Yeah, the one dollar, yeah. Kangaroo. That's one stereotype, one stereotype about Australia. That is bang on true. They are everywhere. Wait, I have a question. This is what might sound stupid. Are your one dollars this big? <laughs> yes, they are. No, they're not. Oh, they're not? Okay. No, yeah, a little bit smaller than that. What's this? It's a hip flask, mm -hmm. which I feel like is just something that you definitely need to have at all times when it's cold. Full of festive spirit. Let's <laughs> see what they yeah. do. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, I love yes. these things. Wait, is this like a beer cozy? Yeah. What, yeah. What, what's it actually called? A stubby. A stubby. I love that. And it keeps you being nice and cool on those hot, hot days. You wouldn't call it now, it's not a stubby. You could do that, but that'd be out of control if what? you're just walking around with the Baileys like that. What's, what is the situation here? 
Well, they're, Why they're, would you We have drinks there? very cold in Australia, properly cold. This is uh, one thing about England that you guys need to sort out. Your fridges aren't cold enough, drinks aren't cold enough. It's quite annoying. Right. Normally when I'm like discussing drinking culture with other people from other places, you get a bit embarrassed because it's like we drink a lot in England. But I think feel like you guys Oh no, we're up there with I've, you. Right? Yeah. Like I've I've seen that thing where you like will like clip on like a bag of wine to like a wash. Oh to, yeah, like, the goon bag. But but then you put it on to like a washing yeah, thing goon and bag spin of, it around. The, the goon of fortune is yeah. what it's called. I'm not gonna feel embarrassed. <laughs> no. I feel like we're, we're... I think that we're like either at level with you or perhaps even superior to you. Oh, interesting. Yeah. In terms of drinking, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and a, and a <laughs> lovely <laughs> pool ring. You've got like your whole setup done. Literally, I'm going to get a bigger bath. Yeah, this is, this makes, this isn't Christmassy. No? No. But you need, it's fun to have in the pool. And you're in the pool on Christmas. Oh, maybe I'm just basic, but I want everything to be like snowflakes and Christmas trees. I would be happy, I guess. So, the last thing I have is... Ah, uh, uh, best to last. Selection box of chocolate. Ooh. Perfect. Larger whisper crunch, double decker. I want a stocking. It's not as fun. Yeah, fair. <laughs> like, let's compare them. Like, yours definitely is Christmassy. Yeah, look at that. This is the kind of present you give to somebody if you don't know them very well. Yeah, it's just like a cover all bases, like mm -hmm. play it safe. Very yeah. play it safe cover present. Can't go wrong with it. So I think that's the end of our gifts. Oh, they were so beautiful, I, I feel know. so Christmassy. I prefer my Christmas a lot more to your Christmas. Do you really? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's just a case of, it's like familiarity, isn't it? Yeah, it's what you grew up with. The Christmas thing's funny because most of pop culture has it as a snowy sort of white Christmas kind of thing. Mm. And in Australia it is totally different with all the warmth and the beaches and the summer vibes. So. I think experiencing it here, it, feel, it kind of feels right in a way. It's funny because although these things are very different, there are still similar sentiments yeah. here. It's a chocolate thing, little items that like you could kind of use. I mean, basically it's like if England had the beach. It is like yeah. that, yeah. It's very Or strange. if Australia are... didn't. <laughs> Australia was really cold and miserable yeah. at Christmas. My favourite present is the <laughs> beach towel, but I'm going to use it as blanket because I'm going to adapt it to my culture. My favourite present is a toss-up between the Baileys and the socks. I'd love to just be wearing the socks on a couch, drinking the Baileys. Mm. I think yeah. that'd be a great Christmas day. That's a British Christmas. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you I too. hope you have a great one. Yeah, you too. Thank you for all these wonderful Christmas presents. You're Merry welcome. Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, and thank you.